Let go. It's the original, 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 original Batman. Original, 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 original Batman. Oh. It's fake kills. I. Hi guys, okay, so I'm back today with another get ready with me and today's wig is from Julia Hair. So I'm going to be working with their 24 inch water wave headband wig. As you guys can see, so this is the construction of the wig. It comes with no lace but just a black headband with some combs and some adjustable straps at the back. So I've already gone ahead to wash the wig just so you guys can see the true form of the hair. So I'm going to jump straight into this video, pop this wig on and then we can start my makeup. So as you guys can see, I do have a really big forehead and my edges are quite thin so this is actually like a really good protective hairstyle if you're not trying to you know um if you're not trying to wear a lace front wig but the thing is i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make this work because to make this work because my edges are pretty thin as you guys can see but we're gonna make it work so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray some got to be spray on my hair and also in case some of you guys didn't know i did cut my hair but my hair is actually grown now so and it needs to keep growing because i'm trying to do braids this summer i think the last time i did braids was like two years ago and even with that my edges were also struggling so it's about time that you know my i grew some edges if you guys know what i can do to grow my edges please let me know because they're so thin i just don't understand why i can serve you guys face all day long but when it comes to edges i was not blessed with that okay i wasn't blessed with edges so <laughs> but we do what we have to do in it so <laughs> i'm gonna pop the wig on now it comes with velcro at the back of the headband so that's what you use to secure the wig and it comes with adjustable straps as well so i'm just gonna pop this on now so the wig actually comes with quite a few headbands depending on the type of look you're going for obviously you can choose whatever headband you want to wear so it comes with this black and white one comes with this one comes with this really colorful one this yellow one but it comes with this brown nude one which i really like i'm going to be wearing this one today actually so okay so that's my hair done moving on to makeup now i've already gone ahead to moisturize my face using my morphe total softy gel moisturizer so now i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face i'm thinking of doing like my everyday go-to makeup look today seeing as you know my hair is just a very simple go-to hairstyle i might as well just do a simple go-to makeup look so i'm gonna prime my face now using the milk hydro grip primer i feel like me priming my face is really based on how i'm feeling that day i don't really prime my face every time i do my makeup sometimes i go through a phase where i'm like yes i have to prime i have to prime and then sometimes i'm just like i don't need to prime my face like <laughs> so it's it's literally just a phase that I go through but I really do like this primer. For foundation I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation and this is in the shade 81 Neutral Neutral. I absolutely love this foundation. I love how it just melts into your skin. This is literally just one pump or one and a half pumps should I say that I'm using all over my face. It's a medium to full coverage so you can definitely build up this foundation if you'd like to. So before I apply my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. This is from Benoit Beauty. It's a Nigerian based brand. And honestly speaking guys, I love this beauty blender. Since I started using it, I haven't dropped it. It's just so soft, literally. I'm gonna use the bottom of the beauty blender and just use that to press my foundation into my skin. So I'm just gonna apply that Laura Mercier concealer right underneath my eyes, just to conceal before going into highlight. To contour, I'm going to use my Revolution Contour Stick in the shade DO7. I'm also using my foundation brush to blend this out, by the way. On the cruise control. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start blending up the concealer. I, them really wanna stress up on me. Bad man, them really can't stress up on me. I really wanna test man for it. So to highlight my face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser, and this is in the shade 11 Tan. Feeling, me, I don't want to tire. 
So I like to blend everywhere else and blend underneath my eyes last just because this way I can get a better coverage from the concealer and you know it just gives it time to warm up a bit more as well. So before going into my translucent powder I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match powder in the shade Cappuccino Golden. Original bad man, oh. It's fake so now I'm going to go into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to use this to set my concealer in place. So now I'm going to set my face with my Morphe powder. This is in the shade Filter 13. Honestly speaking, I need to get a new one ASAP because this is this is done. It's done. I'm gonna go in with my Mac Studio Fix powder and just use both powders together. I really like the Morphe one because it gives me it gives coverage. It gives so much coverage, honestly speaking. So if you want a powder, a setting powder that's really good with coverage, I would recommend the Morphe setting powder. And I like to use my Morphe M439 to apply my powder just because it's so dense. So that way you're literally getting as much coverage as you need around your face. Using this brush also obviously helps to like press the product in to your skin so that's how you're getting a full coverage basically from using this brush because of how dense it is this brush is also good for foundation but i would rather use it for powder okay so guys i've done my brows off camera and now i'm just going to apply some concealer all over my eyelid just because i'm not wearing any eyeshadow today seeing as this is like my everyday go to you know makeup look my eyelids are quite dark anyway so that's why i'm doing this and now i'm going to use the same l'oreal tree match powder and just use that to set my eyelid and just put that powder all over my lid okay so to contour my face i'm going to use my morphe bronzer and this is in the shade supreme i'm also going to go in with the um revolution bronzer in the shade deep so i'm going to use both shades to bronze up my face and add some definition back to my face i'm still not sure about my hair i feel like i might end up bringing this really forward just because i feel like this is too far back like this is way too far back for me now i'm going to go back in with my powder brush and just pat all of that in so I'm going to contour my face now using the same um, Morphe bronzer. I mean, I'm going to contour my nose. Look at me. So now I'm just going to apply some blush. Oil. This is the ABH Blush Trio. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here just to add some color back to my face. I really want to be able to um, wear cream blushes, but I feel like every time I've tried, it's just not worked for me. So it's kind of like just stick to what you know. <laughs> So now I'm going to go into my Maven Beauty Rose Water Set and Spray and I'm just going to spray this all over my face. So this is going to help to get rid of this powdery look that I've got on my face right now. Guys, when I tell you I absolutely love this set and spray, I feel like it just hydrates your face and it just gives you this subtle glow. Honestly speaking, like I love this set and spray so much. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face now. I'm not going to apply too much highlighter just because this is like my everyday go-to makeup. So I don't need to do too much. I'm going to be using the ABH Dream Highlighter Palette. I honestly need to get a one but i feel like it's been discontinued but it's broken all over the place literally so but it's fine because i only use this shade right here so this is the one this is the shade the shade is called wish so i'm just going to apply the smallest amount onto my cheeks and my nose and then i'm going to move on to my lips and because my face is quite dewy right now that's good because obviously the highlighter can kind of like you know catch on to it i really like highlighters like this on dark skin tones because i feel like it just looks really pretty i don't really wear gold highlight i don't know if you guys have noticed but i don't wear gold highlighters it's too yellow and it's just this is more subtle and it kind of gives you that glow from within that you want <laughs> maybe i should apply some eyeliner so I stopped looking like a ghost. This is a sleek eyeliner in the shade Black Male and I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. Okay, so moving on to lashes now, I'll be wearing the Style Dreamy from my lash brand and as you guys can see, I have rebranded and changed my packaging. So this is a new packaging, as you guys can see, it says Beauty by Bemi Collection and on the back as well, it says Beauty by Bemi collection. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So it's Beauty by Bemi collection. So I've got other things I'm working on as well. But for now, I decided to just change my packaging and bring, bring out some new styles. So this is the style Dreamy. So I'm going to pop this on right now. Okay, so guys, I've got my lashes on now. I've also applied some mascara on my bottom lashes. But I feel like my eyelids are like way too plain. So I'm just going to apply my face powder all over my lid. Just to define my crease a bit more and just give me some definition. Because right now, I feel like my eyes just look a bit 
plain. Okay, so moving on to my lips now, I'm gonna go into the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Richie. You guys know I like to overline my lips, so that is a, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so now I'm gonna apply the Maven Beauty Lipstick in the shade Sus. I really like this shade because I feel like it's just a pinkish nude, so it just makes sense. Okay, so guys, now that I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna go back to my hair. So as you guys can see, I decided to bring the headband forward a bit more just because I felt like my forehead was looking a bit, a bit too much and the wig was too... <laughs> It was too far back. I brought my headband forward a bit more now. So I'm going to move on to my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I tame my curly or wavy hair units throughout the day. So obviously you guys know curly and wavy hair tends to get big off throughout the day as you have it on. So for example, with this wig now, I wet the hair at the start of the video and now it's gotten really big and really puffy, which is nice if that's the look I'm going for. But if you want to go for a wet look throughout the day or you don't want your hair getting too big or too puffy, then I'm going to show you what to do now. So basically I... I don't have that much water in here, so I'm gonna pour some water from my bottle because I'm being so lazy to get up. I just can't be asked to get up to go to the kitchen, which is like a few steps away from me, but I'm gonna wet my hair. I don't really want my hair to be soaking wet, but I need it to be, you know, wet enough for me to do what I need to do. And by the way, the hair feels extremely soft and really fluffy, by the way. You guys can see this is what the hair looks like when it's wet. I'm just gonna brush through the hair. So this is the hair wet on one side, and this is the hair puffy on the other side so i'm going to wet this other side now and then i'll come back to show you guys the next step so now that i feel like my hair is wet enough i'm going to go in with the Cantu curling cream this is going to help to define and tame my hair as well and stop it from being frizzy and getting big throughout the day basically so and i'm going to apply a generous amount to both sides Flip on your head. You got a thing that go crisp for a man. So after doing this now, if you really want to lock your curls in, you can go ahead and apply some hair gel, but I don't really feel like I need to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush the hair with my paddle brush. And this is literally going to help to define the curls and just like give it a really nice wave pattern. So this is all I do to my curly and wavy hair units. So I'm just gonna wait for this to dry up a little bit more and then I'll come back and show you guys the end results. Okay, so guys, the hair's fully dried now and as you guys can see, like the curls are just really defined and the hair's not frizzy. That's why I really like that curl defining cream because it really just tames your hair and it stops it from being frizzy. Also, your hair kind of stays like this throughout the day so you don't have to worry about your hair getting bigger if that's not the look you're going for. So like I said, this wig is from Julia Hair and this is their water wave headband wig in the left, 24 inches. So yeah, also you guys, let me know what you think of my everyday go-to makeup look this is literally my go-to makeup look when i'm trying to look cute but i don't want to do too much so away from the eyeshadow but my face still looks you know really good so you guys let me know what you think i feel like this makeup look is so quick so simple it's basically like my foundation routine just without eyeshadow basically but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye